Hey everybody, today is Monday, October 25th, 2021. My name is Keith Tenzer, and today I'd like to show you how to do a live migration of virtual machines running on OpenShift. So before we get started with that, I wanna walk you through how I set up this environment um, and let you know the prerequisites. So everything's running on AWS. I've got three masters and three workers. The masters are just standard 5XLs, and the workers are C5.metal, so we need bare metal worker nodes in order to support virtualization because nested virtualization obviously doesn't work um, well or is supported, so um, we need that. And uh, once we deploy this cluster, then we need to set up a couple or install a couple operators, and those are first OpenShift container storage. Uh, which is going to run on those three nodes. Uh, so we're going to set up a standard storage cluster here um, to provide RBD, uh, RWX, uh, read, write, many um, storage. Uh, so basically what that's a requirement for live migration, not for virtualization, but live migration, you need RWX PVCs. So we're going to get that from, from Ceph, RBD. Um, and once we have our storage cluster up and running, we deploy OpenShift virtualization which converts this cluster into a hyper-converged cluster, meaning we can deploy and run virtual machines alongside containers. So once that happens, under workloads, we've got this really cool new tab here called virtualization. Um, and what, what I did also was you're gonna go in here, there's um, pre-created templates, but you're gonna basically update the image. So it's gonna pull a rel image, uh, put it into a PVC, and you're going to make sure that template is using the storage class CephRBD and using the volume type RWX. So once you do that, you just create a VM and um, off you go. So with this specific VM, um, it's RHEL 8. Uh, I've called it uh, RBD uh, external. And it's running Nginx. Uh, I installed Nginx on it. And over the right-hand corner, I'm curling uh, from... Um, outside of OpenShift, I'm curling basically uh, that that web service, um, which is talking to uh, with the Nginx running on RHEL. Um, in the upper right-hand corner, I'm just showing kind of the state of, of these VMs. Um, this is the one we're going to care about. Um, and when we do the live migration, you'll notice currently it's running on a node 10.0.138.1.12. So this will change. Um, so we should expect that to change. And we should not expect any break here in our curl. Um, and also I'm running on the uh, VM itself a, a for loop, um, just kind of sleeping every second, just to show that there's really, you know, this is really a live migration. It's, it's, it's really migrating uh, the workload uh, to the other uh, node at the same, at the same time um, um, or, or live and not, there's no interruption. So you're going to click those three dots. These are kind of the actions that you have. Um, here we have Migrate Virtual Machine. So I'm going to click that. Um, it's going to ask me if I want to proceed. I don't have the option to select where I want to migrate it to. It's just going to select it uh, based on Kubernetes scheduling. Um, but I'm going to click that. Um, you can see the migration is, is scheduled. We, our workload um, is still, you know, our curl is still working. Um, and now if I go in, I can connect to the console. And um, we can actually see here, uh, that, um, and you saw quickly, that's why I show this, the console disconnected, um, that's expected, um, but my, my for loop has not been broken. So you can see it's, it's every second, um, doing a sleep and printing it as well as my curl. So from an application perspective, this was an online operation, not noticeable, which is the whole point of, uh, live, my live migration. Um, and then also we can see here, you know, that the vir the virtual machine IP changed. Um, it was uh, 112 here. Now it's 124. Um, so we actually can see it did it did it did move to a new node. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to show you. Um, it's a really simple demo, but I think this is really critical for getting the conversation going with our customers on um, getting their legacy VMs, start thinking about moving those onto a converged platform because of all the benefits. And I think live migration is, is one of the key capabilities that um, folks using virtual machine infrastructure are reliant on. So the fact that this works and we can do that is amazing and awesome. Um, and I think really 
um, you know, calls into effect that now's the time to really start these conversations uh, with our customers. So thank you. Good luck.